I think we're recording. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Louie and today we're in the studio. So we've been getting a lot of different questions asking how do we edit our iPhone footage and what kind of programs do we use to edit our iPhone videos? So in this video, we're gonna answer a few of those questions and show you how we edit our iPhone footage. Now there's a ton of different ways and methods and programs for you to edit your videos, but the ways I'm gonna teach you today are the basics of how I set things up before I edit any type of footage. So let's get started. So today we're editing on Adobe Premiere Pro. Again, there's a lot of different programs out there, but I personally have been using Adobe for a long time now and I generally enjoy it. A lot of the things that we're gonna learn today will translate over to different programs and different methods, uh, depending on where or how you edit your videos. I'll be breaking it down starting with how you import your iPhone footage from your iPhone to your computer organizing your timelines to make it a little bit easier for you to work throughout the whole project, editing some motion, adding some sound design, some effects, some, some transitions, and even adding some text on your videos if you like. Again, this isn't a whole process of beginning to end, but basically how I set up things to stay organized, to keep my projects flowing, to make it easier to edit. All right, first things first, importing your footage into the computer. So there's basically two ways to do it. One is wireless and one is wired. When I first started filming iPhone videos, I was actually importing all my footage via AirDrop. Now the problem with AirDrop is it takes a long time to import multiple files. Using a wired connection, in my opinion, is a lot better and more efficient. Once you plug in your phone into your computer, whether it's a Mac or a Windows PC, all your files will be there for you to see and you can kind of pick and choose which files you want to import. So once you plug in your iPhone onto your computer or laptop, you should be able to access the folders as it pops up right here. So go into the most current folder in the directory and save all the footage that you filmed into a new folder where you want to keep your whole project files. And once it's done transferring, you can now drag that folder over into Premiere and it's imported once it's done. Step two is a step that I like to call selects. In this step, we're going to sift through our footage and essentially just pick out all our usable footage that we want to use for our project. Once we made the timeline, we're going to drag all the footage we just imported into the timeline. This is where we start cutting all the fat off the footage and essentially just keep all the good and usable ones to start building the story. By default, any of the imported footage is in this blue color right here, so let's maintain this. Again, in this step, we're literally just going to go through each of the clips one by one and just cut out all the awkward or unwanted parts that we don't want in our project. I tend to only get rid of anything that isn't usable, such as shaky footage or missed records, etc, etc. At the end of this step, you should be able to start sequencing all your clips to start building out your story. The next step is essentially prepping the music. Now for me, visuals and sound are equally important. Sometimes the sound design and soundtrack is actually what makes the story and vice versa. So I like to create a separate bin in my project dedicated to soundtracks, sounds or voiceover. In this step, I'll drop different soundtracks on top of the clips that I've already sifted through, and I'll essentially compare each of the soundtrack to see which one fits the most. Step four is now adding the color correction layer. I highly suggest that you don't color correct on the actual raw footage that you're editing. Instead, create an adjustment layer like this and put it above a layer of your footage instead. This will not only help you grade multiple clips at once, but it'll help you track what you're editing. Pretty much any grading done in this adjustment layer will affect everything below just like this. If you like the way you graded a clip, just copy the layer over and place it above another clip. Step five is the sound design step. Now this is a little different and just as important as step three. This time we're refining sounds for the actual video itself. By now, we should have a timeline with a story with visuals graded, uh, maybe a voiceover on top of a soundtrack. Here, we're going to add different sound effects to kind of add essentially flavor into your videos to kind of make it a little bit more engaging. Take your time on these and be intentional with the sound effects that you choose to add in. You don't want to go overboard with sound design. I usually like to say less is more. Finally, the last layer when editing your iPhone videos is adding text or motion graphics. This is where you can use the Essential Graphics tab and essentially add any visual text that you want in the video or moving graphics. This should essentially be the last layer that you're gonna add above the rest of the project so that anything visual uh, won't block it. This is where you'll add any intros or outros, watermarks, and moving graphics if you do need it. 
Again, be intentional with these and keep it balanced. And there we have it. This is a simple outline to kind of set you up to start editing your iPhone videos on Adobe Premiere Pro. Again, there's so many different ways to make your videos, but this is a simple outline that I've been following since I've started doing video editing that I found to be organized and efficient. I just want to iterate. This isn't meant to be an end all be all type of method to edit your videos, but this is essentially just to get started. There are a lot more uh, advanced techniques that you can do, especially when it comes to color grading, sound design, and all that. Keep in mind, this is literally just the basics, um, and you can essentially get more detailed and more advanced in this process by adding more techniques or different steps. Hopefully this helped you guys get started on your video editing on Adobe Premiere Pro and even answered a few questions you guys had for us. Remember to like and subscribe and catch us on the next one. See ya.